Well, and to me, that's the, uh, one of the richest parts about this, and that this is an administration in which you know, President Obama himself had said that he welcomes this debate, that he's glad to be having this discussion, and yet we're only having this discussion because there was some courageous government whistleblower, somebody willing to feed some information to Glenn Greenwald or pass along information or help his reporting so that Glenn and the, and the Guardian and then the Washington Post could put this out there because had it not been for those courageous government officials who were so outraged that they decided they needed to provide information to reporters, we wouldn't be having this conversation. So the president's remark about welcoming debate is a bit absurd. Uh, the, the other thing that I think is, is, and you raise a very important point, Daniel, and that is, again, th there are a lot of people in this country who believe, hey, if this is really going to you know, stop terrorism, if this is really going to prevent terrorist attacks, then maybe I'm okay with providing the information. The problem is that we don't know exactly the scope and the depth for the information. We don't know exactly what safeguards the government has put on the NSA or on the NSA analysts to make sure that they are in fact going after the proper criteria, that they're going after the proper searches as opposed to enabling some government employees who are bad actors or bad apples from saying, hey, I want to know what Daniel Marins has been looking at on the internet, or I want to know who David Schuster has been emailing. There is nothing, as far as we know, there are no safeguards to prevent that. And that is one of the reasons why I think you will see Congress start to have hearings over the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months. This will be the topic this summer, which they will say, okay, we may support Congress may decide to support the NSA eavesdropping and their surveillance, but there at least has to be some clarification. There at least has to be some transparency from the NSA and from the Obama administration about exactly how this program is working, how is the information being collected, who's looking at it, and what safeguards are being put in place to make sure that this program is not abused. We will talk about the politics and the reaction from across the political spectrum on the other side of this break. You're listening and watching to Take Action News on WEAC Radio.